Farm Show. We're here with Charles Klett of Northeast Implement in the Center Progress Building. Charles, tell us a little bit about Northeast Implement. Uh, Northeast Implement's been a forestry importer since the mid-70s. Uh, primary lines of equipment are the uh, farmy skidding winch and also uh, wood chippers. Okay. And where whereabouts are you located? Uh, located in Spencer, New York. Okay. And you cover the entire state of New York? We actually uh, distribute nationwide, uh, coast to coast, uh, through our dealer network of over probably about 1,500 dealers throughout the U.S. Fantastic. Uh, what do you have here at the show uh, specifically that you want to show off to some of the visitors? Yep. What we're highlighting uh, this year at the show is our uh, Farmy Biofuel Chippers, Model 260. Um, will chip uh, wood up to about uh, 10 and a quarter inches and uh, specifically designed for biofuel chips, uh, which is kind of a uh, trend going forward in the industry. Yep. So that's going to be the smaller of the two chips that, excuse me, the smaller of the two chippers that we provide. Um, also a larger one will actually do up to a 15 inch capacity of biofuel chippers. Um, biofuel chips, excuse me. Um, and then also we're, we have a um, firewood processor that we're uh, showing off today at the, at the farm show. And do you, you also you also mentioned to me earlier you're going to be doing a, a, a forwarder, a log forwarder? Uh, yep, yep. One of the uh, highlights at the, the show also is a 40 trailer, um, 10 ton, ton capacity to start off with all the way up to a uh, 20 ton capacity on the 40 trailers for uh, hauling your uh, logs out of the woods. Does that cover a lot of environmental issues as far as skidding out and uh, water quality erosion, yep. things like that? In a lot of places, uh, people are finding it's more and more difficult to actually uh, transport your logs via skidding winch. So this is a process where uh, they can still go into the woods, uh, process their material, and actually uh, uh, bring it out in an environmentally uh, safe way. Great. Thank you very much. Okay. All right, welcome to the New York Farm Show. We're here with Barbara Bays from NICAM. Barbara, tell us a little bit about NICAM, its mission, and, and what you guys are doing here at the show. Sure. Well, first of all, I just want to say what NICAM stands for. A lot of people go, NICAM, what's that? NICAM is the New York Center for Agricultural Medicine and Health. We're located in central New York, and we're one of uh, seven ag centers around the country. Um, and our whole mission is focused on farm safety. Uh, it's something that is uh, really important to, to all farms. Uh, we offer a variety of programs free to the farm community. Uh, we offer farm safety trainings, uh, farm safety surveys. We have a first emergency response program to train farmers and their workers what to do in the event of an emergency. We have fire safety training. And one of the big programs that we offer farmers uh, is the ROPS rebate program, which helps farmers put roll bars on their tractors. And we rebate 70% of that cost, up to $865. So that's, uh, that's quite a few of the programs that we've been uh, working on at NICAM. Now, I heard you mention earlier that you're actually giving away a ROP yeah, here at we the are, show? Here at the New York State Farm Show, we are raffling off a roll bar. Uh, so we invite folks to come by during the farm show and uh, sign up for the raffle. And uh, if they're lucky enough to be uh, our winner, we will pay for the entire cost of their roll bar. That's fantastic. Now, you mentioned earlier as well that you're doing a lot of different demonstrations and activities for visitors. Mm -hmm. What you're, you're, all, you're in the Center of Progress building as well as the International building. What are some of the things you're going to have on on hand for people who are visiting the show. Sure, here in the Center of Progress building we'll be doing uh, hands-only CPR demonstrations. This is a new technique um, where if you were to uh, come upon someone in, in cardiac arrest or there was uh, difficulty with person breathing or heart stopping, we're doing demonstrations where you're literally only using your hands instead of the mouth-to-mouth uh, -mouth plus the uh, chest compression. So we'll be doing those demonstrations throughout the day. Uh, and in the um, Toyota building, we have our personal protective equipment uh, that we sell at cost. We have uh, eye protection, hearing protection, um, and we also have uh, our community collaborations coordinator who has been working on some ergonomic projects. Uh, most recently, she was working with farmers down in the Hudson Valley, uh, developing new and interchangeable blades so they could weed uh, uh, around the uh, produce and uh, without getting the back strain that they normally do, uh, as well as some blueberry rakes and uh, apple buckets. So we've developed quite a few products to help alleviate some of the muscular uh, discomforts that come with uh, those, those uh, particular products. 
That's great. So people coming to the show can see all these different things at the Center Progress building and the Toyota building? That's right. All right. Fantastic. Thanks for joining us. Thank you.